In this video, I'm going to show you how we can save the inspect element changes per minute. So I'm going to show you the three ways to do this. So let's start with the first way. Okay. So you can see that's my website and this is the live website. Let's see. Let me just refresh. Done. Now I need to change the content of that website. Okay. So how we can do this? It's really very simple. Right click on your web browser and just click on the inspect and go to the console option here. Clear this. And you can see, you just need to write a simple code as like document dot body dot content editable, content editable, this one, and equal true, and then semicolon, and enter. You can see now you just need to cross this, or you just scroll down it like this. Now you can change anything like cell more stuff, so you can just change it to the CVYT like this. Now, if you want to change something on the, you know, scroll down, you can see this is the content. We did some interesting. So I'm going to just change it to the, we have done it and just enter like this. We have changed the content. You can change anything like this. Okay. Like 40% to I'm going to just make it to the 100% like this. Amazing. Now I'm going to just go again and just clear this and just type again here, document dot body dot content editable equal false and semicolon enter and just cross it now you can see this is your entire website all the content is saved like this so you can take a screenshot of that website and you can show to your friends and family or anyone okay now you can do it in any website no matter which website is that okay you can do it in any website but when i just click on the refresh button and all the change is gone okay so let's learn the second step so whenever i click on the refresh so that changes should be there on my website so how can i do this so for that i'm going to just click on the plus icon and we need to download one extension called permanent save inspect element changes permanent inspect element just open that extension and click on the add to chrome click on add extension and just spin that extension like this and go to your website now i'm going to change something like cell mode so i'm going to just here change to the tcb only so right click on that content and click on the inspect and you can directly change it like this you can see here when i just select from here like you can see the mouse option just select this so you'll see here the cell mode like just select this double click on that and just change the content like tcb like this okay now if you want to do any changes so you can just select any content like this okay and do the changes accordingly like here i'm going to change it to the and i'm going to just cross it okay and now let's click on that extension here and just click on the save page and it's done now let me just refresh this page okay let's click on this here refresh and changes is still there let me just try to hard refresh this but still changes are there okay it means you can save the changes permanent here so anyone visit in this website so they will see all the content like this but when i open this website in another laptop someone else laptop like let me just open this on an incognitive okay like this you can see i can't find these changes it means i can save these changes on my laptop only okay now how can i save these inspect element changes for everyone so how can i do this so it's simple what i need to do here what we need to do here we just need to download one extension and that extension called ml downloader just click on this and click on add to chrome so i already have this extension okay go to their website you have just changed you have just saved these changes right and just click on that extension that we have just saved as you can see here this is the extension called single html downloader now we just need to click on that extension icon and just click on the save okay now we have this file okay this one file okay now this is the inspect now this is the local file i need to upload that file on the server now open the cpanel okay you can see this is the file manager so let me just open the public html folder here okay and i need to delete the old files all the old files let me just delete all these files from here just delete it like this and i'm gonna upload that file that we have just downloaded okay so this is the file so i'm gonna just rename that file first of all just right click on that and just rename to the index.html and just upload that file in your server under the public html folder just upload that file done now let me just see uh, how the changes is there as you can see here this is the website tcb demo here the tcb right let me just refresh this file and let's see how this will work okay 
and you can see this is after refreshing you will see that still we have the tcb and youtube tcb changes with all the content all the images right so this is in the live server so these inspect element changes reflect on the every laptop okay so if you have any doubt you can ask one comment thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to channel like this video and share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye